welcome back to my channel. I'm really, really excited about painting this one today for you and making it a tutorial. I'll do my best to create this step-by-step -step and an easy way for you guys to follow along. If you have any questions, just head over to my Patreon where I can talk one-on-one -on -one with you and help you with anything that you may be having problems with. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over the canvas we're using today. This is another uh, 18 by 24 canvas. It's an older painting that I just covered up with um, just regular black paint. I didn't use black gesso, but you can if you want. Um, and I've got a lot of paint underneath this one, so it's like quadruple primed, so it's gonna take the paint excellently. Um, I've got a wide variety of colors here for this lovely fall scene that we're gonna be painting. Turquoise and this one right here, it's light blue permanent. So I'm gonna use a combination of the turquoise and the light blue permanent for the background sky up at the top. Then I've got some Mars Black and Cobalt Blue, Neon Orange, Yellow Ochre, Lemon Yellow, Titanium White, Neon Red, Crimson Red. And if I add any other colors besides these ones, I will let you know for sure and leave a list of all the supplies I'm using in the description below this video. So let's begin, guys. I'm gonna start with Titanium White and my Turquoise and Blue. I'm using this three inch chalk brush. And you can get these on Amazon or at Walmart. You can use any blending brush that you want. It doesn't have to be this one. I just really like this one. It's fun to use. So I'm gonna take my white here. I've got a little bit left over from yesterday that's still kind of wet. Both my blues here, the turquoise and the blue. And I'm just gonna start up at the top. Now I chose this turquoise and the blue because they have that green tone to them, right? And that is going to be, of course, very complementary to the reds that we're using in this painting today. I'm going to pick up more white, more of those colors again. have fun with your brush and your paint and just create little circles like this. I often like to do this when I'm creating backgrounds and skies. And I'm going to stop right about here because in this landscape the roadway starts right here with the trees and we're going to have a lot more foreground than we are to the background here. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more white and make this brighter back here. Okay, so I'm ready to start painting the road. We'll just let that dry. And now I'm gonna come over with my flat brush here. This is a number 11. You guys see me use this one all the time. And I'm going to take some of my cobalt blue here with a little bit of white. Actually, take a little bit of crimson red, make sort of a purpley color here. Not my favorite shade of purple, but we'll add a little bit of pink to that later if we need to. And I'm going to start at the top here. It's going to be really narrow. Come around like this, and then really wide. So 
I'm going to make it a little bit lighter here. Because there's a bit of a highlight or a sheen to the road. Maybe it's in the morning and there's a little bit of dew or frost or something there. And I really like that I've got a lot of texture underneath this black paint from other paintings because that helps to create a natural um, texture to the road uh, for that pavement or any little bit of rocks or sticks um, and leaves and stuff that might be there. Okay, and I'm just gonna come in with a little bit more of my blue that crimson red. And then I'm just gonna take a blending brush. This is a number 30. It really doesn't matter what brush you have. I just need something a little bit bigger to work with here. I'll get it a little bit damp. And just start pulling, blending this paint out a little bit more. Now we know it's going to dry darker. I'm going to add a little bit more light right in here. Now if you have a little bit of light purple or light blue, you can use that as well for this light in the center. Now to make it textured, feel kind of textured like this, like pavement, I'm just going to turn my brush like this and scumble around and sort of just drag. I'm going to pick up more of my blue, so this cobalt blue, ultramarine blue is fine too if you want to use that, they're very similar. And I'm going to start adding some more to the black area here just because I think this blue I know will dry darker, but it's just so much more of an interesting color than just black. And we'll still get that nice... Uh, contrast is just going to be a little bit more interesting. Now, I recently just got uh, gifted a set of color by Felix Paints. And you know what? I'm going to try a few of these out right now. And I'm going to leave his link below uh, if you guys want to know where you can find these. Um, thanks very much, Felix. I'm so excited to try these. So I think I'm going to add a little bit of purple. I'm going to try the violet. I'm just not crazy about my red, the crimson red and the cobalt blue together. So I'm gonna take a little bit of white with this purple. Well, that's a nice shade. That's definitely prettier than the red and the blue together. Okay, so let's go ahead and start adding this. And I'm just gonna hold my brush this way. Oh, it's a little bit too much white in there. Let me pick up a little bit more of the purple.
there like that. Get a little bit of my turquoise here and add it to the purple. And like I would paint reflections in the water, I'm just going to pull down like that. And then if we add, need to add a little bit more here, I'm just going to add a little bit of a line right there just to give it that feeling that it's coming around a corner, where there's a corner coming up. Just a little bit more, and hopefully that'll be bright enough and we won't have to add any more to it. my brush out now I'm going to start painting the trees in the background and I'm going to use a number four filbert brush So what I'm going to do is take black, with a little bit of my crimson red, and even a little bit of orange here. And we'll just start adding some trees in here. So I'm going to pull up. And the sky, the paint back here is still wet, which is kind of nice because I want this to be muted back here. There's some fog going on, and so that'll save me a little bit of work because I am gonna, I plan on coming over to make it look sort of misty. Add a little bit of water to my brush. I think I'm gonna take some of my turquoise here and mute it that way as well. Yeah, that's a nice color. And then we'll put some larger ones in here. Now I'm going to take a combination of black, red, and cobalt blue to make these ones darker. This is looking pretty cool already. Now I'm going to take some of the purple with what's left over in my brush and a little bit of the blue. Let's add one back there. And a few little branches. I'm going to go over this with a little bit of purple. Big tree right here. It's just twisting. This one's got a lot of character. Push and pull up. You see all those colors that are in my brush just got worked out of there and it looks really neat. You get just get a multi-tone, multi-tonal effect like that. Pull into my turquoise, turquoise and blue mixture here and lighten some of these up. I know these trees are going to be a little bit shorter, so this gives us the illusion that they're kind of coming down. Maybe there's a little slant and a hill here.
Okay, so I'm going to start adding some foliage. Then I'm going to add some branches. When that dries, I might, depending on how it looks, I might need to soften it and probably, I'll probably have to come in with some, uh, like a dry brush to give it a misty look. So it's all about building those layers. And I've got a liner brush now. This is my long liner brush that I really like to use. I'm going to get quite a bit of water on it. And I'm going to just roll my paint around in the blue, purpley mixture here. And I'll just start pulling in some little branches here. So the liner brush, you want to have enough water. You want to have most of the paint and the water on the tip of the brush. And I kind of like to wiggle. I push a little bit hard here right at the tree trunk where it's going to be a little bit thicker when it grows out of the, the tree trunk, right? And then as it gets out, it gets smaller and smaller. So you can add as many branches as you want or as few as you want. And this is always really good practice. I tell my students just paint branches over and over, get a good feel for how the, the liner brush works. And, you know, when you add your foliage and your leaves over top, that's the time that you can sort of camouflage all those little branches that you may not be happy with. I'm going to add a little bit of black and blue to this one. more and then I'll start adding some of the foliage and I'm really excited because that's when I start to get to use color and I love color oh by the way guys I really want to thank all of you for joining me for my live chat in my video this morning um, depending on when you're watching this uh, that was my first one ever and I was so excited to see so many of you on there um, wanting to chat away with me and I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to continue. You're going to see many more live chats from me. I'd love to connect with you guys. And as well as over on Patreon, of course. Okay, so let's begin with this foliage. I'm going to start with um, my yellow ochre, I think. And little mop brush here. I love these little mop brushes and they're so pretty with a crystal iridescent end to them. These are actually makeup brushes. Uh, if you don't know that by now, I've mentioned that a few times. And I got them on Amazon. Um, I'll try to remember to leave the link, but they're pretty easy to find. And I'm going to, this is a dry brush, and I'm just going to tap. I'm not pushing my brush into that paint because I don't want to have, I want it to be sparingly. I don't want it to have big, big globs of paint on the end of my brush. And then I'm just going to take an area here where I tap it around more evenly, kind of tap some of that paint out so it kind of looks like that. And then I'm going to come in on the bottom here, so right on the corner where it turns, I'm going to start adding some of this yellow in here. I love yellow ochre. It just makes such a nice color in a painting. It seems to go with everything, really. Okay, just a little like that. And then I'm going to add some at the top. a pretty color and then as we build this up you'll see little bits of it kind of peeking through those other colors and let's add some over on this side I 
there's actually going to be a little bit more orange and red on this side, so I'm not going to do too, too much here. down here at the base of these trees and then just pull where it's going to be a little bit blurrier back here. And I'm going to come in with my flat brush. I'm going to take that yellow ochre again. I'm just going to do a little section in here that's a little bit more smooth and in here as well. I'm going to pull in some neon orange, some neon red. Start adding that in there. I'm going to go over this tree trunk right here. A few of them, a few little branches. Maybe add another one or two. All right. And I'm going to go over the base of this one here and make it a little bit darker. Now I'm going to take crimson red and neon red, both of those colors on the tip of my brush. And I'm going to go right in here and do a line that comes right under those trees, kind of goes up like that. Take those colors again. Right around here. I'm going to begin the base. I'm going to start adding the brighter colors a bit sparingly up here as we get closer to the foreground. They're going to be kind of less bunched together and blurry looking. So I'm holding my brush kind of like I'd be using a palette knife. So you can do that with the orange too. Kind of just tap the brush like that. And then what you can do is just And I'm just gently drag your brush, leaving some spaces. Okay, and then we're just going to build up with a um, uh, smaller brush and then apply the paint really thickly for the leaves. And I'm really excited about doing that. It's so much fun. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit to this side too. So we'll take Flat, flatten my brush like that to load it up and we'll begin right in here and take a little bit more of my orange this time We'll 
apply some colors in here. I think I'm going to switch over to um, my fan brush now. One of my fan brushes. Which one should I choose? I've got so many. Hmm. Maybe I'll use my number eight. And I think this one actually has, it's a, a Dugat, Dugat, not sure how to pronounce that. That's the brand. So I'm going to take some white because I really want this to show up. So I want kind of a white base in there. Some orange and some yellow. I love that lemon yellow. A little bit more of that yellow actually. I want these to be more of a golden look. I'm going to tap. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Oh, I love that with that turquoise background. And then that yellow ochre in there. Pick up a little bit more. This time I really want to wiggle my brush and get a good amount on the end to work with like that. Just gonna soften with my finger here. I'm gonna take some more of my neon orange. I'm gonna place it at the top. Make a section of this just a little bit more on the peachy side like this. Gonna start coming down right here towards the road and then we'll work on this guy right here let's take some more I'm going to go into my neon red now with that base of colors that I still have in there. actually this color. I'm just going to use the corner of my brush where I want to be able to fit it in these little spaces that might be kind of hard to get into. And back over to here. a little bit of black up but that's okay because then we get a nice bit of a shadow on some of these leaves. yellow and white and orange highlight. Okay, now I'm going to go over to one of my 
fill another filbert brush. This one's a number six, I believe. It's just a medium size. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of my yellow ochre here with my orange, yellow, and white mixture. I'm gonna tap out that excess paint. I'm gonna add a little bit more in here. I'm gonna scumble in between these trees. And back here as well. I'm gonna take a little bit of both of my reds this time. And I'm gonna create kind of a slant some slanty lines like this. You just get in between these tree trunks with a little bit more foliage. I'm going to add a little bit more tree trunk inside some of these. Pick up my blue and my black. And then lightly pull down like that. And just sort of blend it down. Take a little bit more red right underneath that and a little above. See how it curls down? Now we still got some tree trunks in here. I'm going to go back to orange, yellow ochre, and red. And very lightly bring this little area up right in here. branches up here using a combination of my yellow ochre and a little bit of purple. Pull a little bit of that peach off and pull that in. So just over to my turquoise again. I'm going to brighten up some of these areas, so I'll show you. I've got a little bit of white and my turquoise and light blue here. Adding some white to them. 
And this is kind of fun to do. You can go in after and just add a little sections like this. And I can add some in here too. And in here. I think we just create such nice light this way, building up from a black primed canvas. It's just something different for you guys, you know, to get outside of your comfort zones and what you normally paint on. It's fun to paint on different colored canvases so you can I've done lots on uh, neon red neon pink yellow ochre is a nice one Got a little bit more turquoise right in there I'm gonna leave that I actually really like that okay now what I want to do is play up on a little bit more of uh, the purple so I'm gonna go over to um, my light blue that I've got here with that beautiful violet. Add a little bit of white in there. A little bit more of the blue. Makes a really pretty color. Okay, and I'm going to start pulling here. Kind of just dragging, lightly scumbling across. I'm going to create some more light. a bit of a bigger brush, any kind of brush. I'm just using my filbert here. Just soften this a little bit, but you want to keep that textured look there in the center. color that I had and I'm gonna add a few purple branches back here light any kind of light purple will look really really pretty purpley blues all very complimentary what even looks nice sometimes is just kind of to outline your trees in the complimentary colors I'll just scumble a little bit of that purple in there. Then I take a little bit of my white. Very lightly. Just a small little circles. And I might come back to that after. Add a little bit more. So I'm going to keep this a uh, little mop brush that I'm using right now and tap in some more color right here. A 
put a, my reds on there. Sneak some right in here. Right back there. And a bright neon red in here. You can really see the texture of the painting underneath. That works well in this case. It won't for every painting. Some paintings you're going to want to use a fresh canvas that doesn't have any thick texture underneath. Okay, so now I'm going to use my small uh, filbert brush here, and I'm going to start coming with uh, the thick leaves, building my way up to the foreground. I'm going to take a few different colors. We'll scoop up orange and both reds. We'll start tapping, so we want it to be really thick. And actually just turn my brush, put my hand over my brush like this. So these leaves are going to be falling and landing in different directions, right? They're not all going to look the same. You can use, just get any of those or all of them. Beautiful fall colors. We have ones that go down like that. Isn't that cool, you guys? I love this effect. And it's so fun to paint this way. You can just keep layering and layering. See the amount of paint I'm using? It's very thick. And just little ones, what little dots back up here.
You can pull in a little bit of your yellow ochre too and add some brighter highlights to some of them. And I've got a little bit of lighter colored ones down here. Turn my brush over again like this and lightly lightly drag that paint around. Cover with some of my neon red here, I think. A little bit like that. You could also incorporate some neon pink in here as well. Sometimes you get that beautiful neon pink, gorgeous color to um, those maple leaves. I love maple trees. They're gorgeous. Some of these look farther away. Just gonna do little dabs. So this is for one of my patrons that was asking me if I would do a fall scene with all the leaves falling off the trees. So I hope you like this one, and if anybody has a request, something that you'd like to see me paint, um, you can go over to Patreon and let me know there, and I'll just send me a, a photo or let me know what you're, you've got in mind, and I'll do my best. The only thing I'm not really crazy about painting are um, portraits. I just don't have fun with them. I really enjoy landscapes, that's my thing. Yeah, you can just have so much fun with a landscape like this that is like really a uh, wide roadway like this. It really makes you feel like you can go right into that painting, um, gives it that 3D kind of illusion, especially when you're using the paint really thick like this. And when it dries, it looks so cool and it leaves a texture. So this is one I'm probably not going to paint over. Um, just because it's going to leave uh, a lot of texture. Um, and my paintings are for sale. That's something I always forget to mention in my videos. So if anybody's out there wanting to know how they can purchase my paintings, just send me a message either through Instagram, Facebook, my email, my website. Everything's just joniyoungart.com. I'll leave links below, of course. Yeah, I think, I mean, I could just keep going with color here, but the battery on my camera is going to die here soon, so I'm going to have to finish this up. The only thing I really, really want to do now is add a little bit more of my blue and my black and just bring down this tree trunk. A little bit lower. Just 
just taking my cobalt blue and I'm going to do little dabs putting just a little bit more color here on the edge Call this one done so thanks so much again for joining me you guys i look forward to hearing your comments on this one and i'll see you next time very soon in another video bye